Today, I want to talk about why none of these illegal short selling hedgies have been in prison so far. I want to explain what keeps them immune for the moment, but exactly what needs to crack for the politicians to bear down on these criminals. So stay tuned and let's make some money. And now I want to dive straight in with the key information. So, as InvestorTurf tweeted, he said, if you bribe the US officials, aka Congress, it's called donating. As a prime example, Ken Griffin has made multiple donations to Congress or to Senate leadership funds over the last few years. We can see so far he's donated over $37 million in large lump sum transactions just to the Senate leadership fund, on top of additional donations on top of that. We also know that politicians receive speaking fees directly from Citadel as well, as well as a number of other major institutions. But it seems that if you try and issue donations or bribes in China, it doesn't go down the same way. Because Sam Bankman Fried has just been charged with bribing Chinese officials. It says the US is accusing Bankman Fried in a new bribery conspiracy charge of directing the transfer of at least $40 million of cryptocurrency to benefit the Chinese government officials. When you make a bribe in China, it's called a bribe, but seemingly when you make a bribe in America, it's called a donation. Sam Bachman Fried was caught transferring at least $40 million in cryptocurrency intended for the benefit of one or more Chinese government officials in order to influence and induce them to unfreeze his accounts. But as Phil Farrell tweeted, he said, fun fact, the SEC will actually allow securities fraud as long as you pay them a commission for said fraud. Because another form of these bribes or donations is simply paying a fine or a speeding ticket when they're caught doing something illegal. Again, as a prime example, we know that Credit Suisse and UBS have been fined billions of dollars over the last 10 or 15 years, every single time they're caught committing illegal crimes. So far, nobody's gone to jail, they just pay this small speed bump fine and carry on committing illegal manipulation. If we look at Ken Griffin's Wikipedia page, we can see a large list of donations spanning back over 10 years. We can see a significant amount of very large donations, over a million dollars in value, and also a significant number of smaller donations as well. And as Armashin tweeted, he said, if the law still exists in the US, then Gary Gensler is effectively just a criminal turning a blind eye to the corruption on Wall Street and pretending to protect retail investors. Gary Gensler is ignoring Ken Griffin the exact same way the SEC ignored Bernie Madoff all of those years ago. Now you may say, Tom, surely the SEC was aware of Bernie Madoff. They just didn't think he was doing anything illegal. He just slipped past them, right? Surely Bernie Madoff didn't bribe any officials or any congressmen. Well, again, Bernie Madoff made a significant number of very large donations to federal candidates, parties and committees. But I also wanted to touch on and talk about exactly where it all went wrong for Bernie Madoff and where it's likely to go wrong for Ken Griffin as well. Because we can see that many of these federal candidates and parties and committees actually had to return donations they received from Bernie Madoff. Individual senators like Chuck Schumer also had to return massive amounts of donations received from Bernie. And again, as another prime example, we know that politicians that received donations from Sam Bankman Freed are now being forced to return those donations or those bribes. Also, be sure to sign up to Moomoo, the sponsor of today's video, by signing up using the link in the description below. You can currently get up to a whopping 17 free stocks, entirely commission free trading, free level two market data, and most importantly of all, Moomoo is very easy to use. They've got tons of technical indicators and advanced charting tools. And you've also got entirely free 24 seven customer support, and you can also trade around the clock with the full extended trading hours. From 2020, 2021, and most of 2022, everything Sam Bankman Freed was doing was effectively ignored by the SEC and by anyone in power. That's obviously because Sam Bankman Freed was making tons of donations to political parties, effectively for this immunity. Again, everything Bernie Madoff was doing was also ignored because of his donations or his bribes. And so far, everything that Ken Griffin is also doing is being ignored because of those donations. But again, as I said, it's only being ignored so far. It wasn't until Sam Bankman Freed and Bernie Madoff were caught doing something very, very wrong that they actually ended up going to prison or at least being arrested. And all of those political members were forced to return those donations. Therefore, as soon as Ken Griffin is caught doing something wrong, he will indeed face prison time. 
I guess the only tricky part is figuring out exactly what Ken Griffin needs to do wrong to actually be arrested. We know that where Bernie Madoff mainly went wrong was he stopped stealing from poor people and started stealing from rich people. At that point, he was arrested and all of those donations were returned. We also know from the Wolf of Wall Street, the same thing effectively happened with Jordan Belfort as well. He stopped stealing from those smaller investors and started stealing from those larger hedge fund managers and giant funds. Eventually that all caught up with Jordan Belfort as well and he was again arrested. But Sam Bankman fried so far is the odd one out. Sam Bankman fried mostly just stole from smaller customers like you and I because there weren't many funds actually operating on the FTX platform. Regardless of what Ken Griffin needs to do to end up being arrested, I don't know, but I'm sure at some point he will end up slipping up and making a big, big mistake. Because while he is making tons of donations at the moment and has that immunity, that immunity doesn't last forever if he makes a mistake. Exactly like Bernie Madoff, Sam Bankman fried Jordan Belfort, and I'm sure many others before them as well. And it also seems like Ken Griffin's manipulation really ties in exactly with Gary Gensler's appointment. As G-Man tweeted, he said, can we all acknowledge the boarding, incompetent elephant in the room? He said Gary Gensler took over at the SEC in quarter one of 2021. And he said, and would you look at that? Dark pool numbers went parabolic at the end of quarter one of 2021 and hasn't shown any signs of slowing down ever since. G-Man said that Gary Gensler has been bought and paid for in a pay-to-play system. Again, as I said, all of those donations from Ken Griffin and Citadel Securities have obviously gone to good use, likely directly into Gary Gensler's pockets. And that's why we've seen such a massive increase in dark pool volume, because we also know that Ken Griffin and Citadel Securities run one of the largest dark pools with Citadel Connect. On top of that, we also know that Citadel, as a result, has made record-breaking profits over the last two years consecutively. But as I said, I do believe that it's only a matter of time until Ken Griffin ends up slipping up, and when he does, everything will come crashing down. And obviously, when everything else comes crashing down, we also know that AMC and GameStop will end up squeezing. And as S3 Partners tweeted, they said rising stock borrow rates may force or squeeze short sellers into closing their positions, getting out to realize their remaining mark-to-market profits and exiting before other buy-to-covers drive the stock price up. But as Jan Jack also tweeted, he said neither the analysts at S3 Partners nor those at Investor Place would admit the real cause for the high cost of borrow for AMC is because of the huge amount of risk that's been built up in the stock for short sellers due to a stubbornly high retail interest in AMC and a rebound in movie attendance. The sharp rise in cost to borrow for AMC is also a result in the collapse of FTX and its continued searching reaching up to 905% and remained above 100% from that time through to the collapse of four US regional banks and Credit Suisse. He said the high cost to borrow for AMC isn't isolated from the banking crisis and will continue to spiral. As I said so far, we know that Ken Griffin can continue getting away with this manipulation because he's effectively immune as a result of his donations. But as I said, at some point he will slip up and make a mistake that's just too large to save him. And at that point, he will be arrested and imprisoned and all of those donations will be returned. Again, this is just yet another reason as to why I know that someday AMC and GameStop will indeed squeeze. We know that so far these shorts and these market makers have been getting away with manipulation, but it won't last forever. And I think when they get caught doing something illegal or end up going bankrupt during the next leg down of the market crash, either way at some point, Ken Griffin will be imprisoned. But guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.